as well as making extensive cash donations and publicly supporting charity appeals. Members of the royal family are understood to be providing accommodation for refugees from the East European nation. They have joined politicians, business leaders, and thousands of others offering to house some of the six million Ukrainians who have fled their country in the face of the most serious conflict in Europe since the Second World War. Almost 54,000 have arrived in the UK in the past three months under government schemes. But the identity of the royals involved and those they are helping remains unclear. Members of the royal family are working behind the scenes on a number of projects and want to keep their contribution private. Buckingham Palace, which in March said the royal household was looking at a number of ways to offer practical help and support to Ukrainians, has declined to elaborate. A palace spokesman said, we are assisting in a number of ways but will not be commenting further. The family's contribution to the relief effort comes after a series of cash donations made by the Queen, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to the Ukraine appeal launched by the Disasters Emergency Committee, a coalition of 15 UK charities, which has raised more than £300 million. The Queen has made her support for Ukraine plain in other more subtle ways too wearing Ukrainian yellow and blue and ordering flower arrangements in the nation's colors at Windsor Castle. These things don't tend to happen by accident, a senior royal source said. Less inhibited than the monarch, Charles, Camilla, William and Kate have all spoken out against Russian aggression and pledged support to Ukraine's struggle during meetings with the Ukrainian diaspora in Britain. The Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent returned his Russian honor the Order of Friendship, to the Kremlin in protest at the invasion. Earlier this week on a tour of Canada, Charles and Camilla met Ukrainian refugees in Ottawa, where Camilla told one family who had left the father behind to fight, We are so behind you. We do worry about you so much. The very Reverend Volodymyr Kouchner, Dean of the St. Sophie Ukrainian Orthodox Cathedral in Montreal, praised the royal family for their support and told Charles and Camilla, We are sincerely grateful to the royal family, to Her Majesty, and to you for personally for your help and support for Ukraine, which today is fighting for democratic values. In March on a visit to the Ukrainian Cultural Center in London, Prince William said, For our generation, it's very alien to see this in Europe. We're all right behind you. We're thinking about you. We feel so useless. He praised the people of Ukraine for their spirit, and told volunteers sending aid, We have seen a lot of that Ukrainian spirit already. Keep together. Everyone is there for you. We feel for you, we really do. William and Kate have also offered to use their royal foundation to provide support for Ukrainians suffering mental health problems after witnessing the horrors of war. They said in a statement. In October 2020 we had the privilege to meet President Zelensky and the First Lady to learn of their hope and optimism for Ukraine's future. We stand with the President and all of Ukraine's people as they bravely fight for that future. More than 150,000 Britons have offered shelter in their properties to Ukrainian refugees under the government's hope.